Hey guys, Rick Nice to be back with another new prediction video. This time it's Royal Rumble 2020. So, to start it off, we've got the United States Championship match Andrade versus Humberto Carrillo. So, Andrade injured Carrillo about a month ago. He's only just come back this week. Uh, obviously, while they were gone, Andrade's won the US title. So, I had no really build to it, and to be honest with you, I can't see Andrade losing it yet. He's only just won it. Humberto Carrillo has got no charisma, and there's 10 other guys who do exactly what he does without charisma. Apollo Crews, Cedric Alexander, to name a couple. There's plenty like him. People who can't use a mic, who are good in ring. There's too many of them now, and he's not anything special. So I'm going to wait Andrade to win that one. Then we've got Sheamus vs Chad Gable. Refuse to say Shorty G, it's not his name. Sheamus is just going to win, isn't he? He's only just come back. Nothing's happened really in this build up. Two minute match broke it, probably. Wouldn't surprise me if to break uh, Daniel Bryan's record at less than 18 seconds. Pretty good that to be fair, I'd be alright with that. So yeah, Sheamus to win. First match back, back obviously he's going to win. Then we've got the SmackDown Women's Championship match, Bailey versus Lacey Evans. I think they're building to either Bailey turning face or Sasha Banks turning face. So I'm thinking that Becky Lynch, uh, that Bailey even, is going to win it, until uh, keep it until WrestleMania for a match with Sasha Banks for it. I'm not sure who's going to turn face out of the two of them, but I think that's what they're going to build up to. So I'm going to win Bailey to keep her title. Then we've got Roman Reigns versus Baron Corbin in the Force Can't Anywhere match. Who, who, who cares? What, why are we still doing this? Roman Reigns, I guess. I suppose. Yeah, <laughs> that's enough for that one. So then we've got Becky Lynch versus Asuka for the Roman Championship. They've built this up that Asuka's always beat Becky Lynch when they've come against each other. Becky can't get the job done. So she's going to get the job done, isn't she? That's what they're building to. That's what they got. This is the only person she can't be on the main roster, I think, as far as I'm, I know so far. Until they call some more up or some new debuts come in. But yeah, Becky Lynch is going to win, isn't she? That's what they build up to. Becky Lynch to be asking to retain her championship. Then we've got the Universal Championship match. We've got The Fiend, Bray Wyatt versus Daniel Bryan. This is the second time they've done this match and Daniel Bryan lost the first one. Only thing different now is he's got less hair. The Fiend's going over. I think Fiend's going to look to WrestleMania as well. I know I've been saying that a lot, but WrestleMania is where all the titles change hands. And to be fair, I don't think the Fiend will lose the title depending on who he's up against. I'll be surprised if he does lose it. But yeah, we'll come to that at WrestleMania. The Fiend's going to win at Royal Rumble. I'm fairly certain. I can't see Daniel Bryan beating him. Then we've got the women's Royal Rumble match, and I'm stuck between two. And I'm going to go with. Shayna Baszler. I know she said on NXT this week that she didn't go in anywhere, but she's going to say that. She's not going to say she didn't run Rumble because people know she's going to win it. I'm going to go with her to win. I was between her or Ronda, but I think Shayna's more likely to be in the match, let alone win it. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if Ronda's not in the match, but if she is, yeah, I think they'll be the final two. And then we've got the men's Royal Rumble match, and I'm going to go against the favourite. I'm going to go with Brock Lesnar. Paul Heyman predicted it. it. Sorry, Paul Heyman spoiled it. I know the favourite's Roman Reigns massively, but I think you've got to go with a prediction, with a spoiler. You can't go against a spoiler. If, if of all times he's going to break it, it's not going to be Royal Rumble, is it? So I'll be very surprised if this is where they break the spoiler streak. So yeah, I'm going to go with Brock Lesnar to win the Royal Rumble match. So that was my predictions for Royal Rumble 2020. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to like. Favorite, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Mm, bye!